hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be taking a look at an external fuel tank so i'm going to show you how you can triple your fuel on your gas generators and this will work on a lot of generators i'm going to go through a few just show you a few that it will work i know for a fact it will work on all the gen max generators it does come with adapters will work on the honda the yamahas the pulsars almost every generator with that type of fuel cap plus the ones so this is the GM EFP plus fuel pump from Genmax. Let's get it hooked up to the uh, generator. I'm gonna be using the 10.5 to show you this. It will also work on the gas 17,000 watt inverter generator. And you can add an external tank. This is an external 12 gallon tank. The benefit of this system is that you can actually run your generator and refuel it without having to shut it down you know refueling a generator let's get this off the tank when the generator is running it's best you turn it off when refueling also it's best to let it cool down for a little bit before you refuel your generator so let's get this external pump hooked up and the external tank I'm gonna be using this my 12 gallon uh, also, if you want to check this out, the link will be in the description. Just click description and you will see the link to buy this product. Okay, let's get it open and show you exactly what it, how it works. I'm not going to do a full test because this takes 12 gallons over here, 6.9 over here. That's almost 20 gallons of gas I have to buy to do this test. So I'm just going to explain it. You guys will get the gist of it. And if you, that's something you're looking for, especially if you have like a food truck, and you don't have time to go out and shut the generator off, refuel it, let it cool down before you refuel it. This really, really will help you out. So you could actually come here, open this up, and you can refuel the external tank while your generator is running. So you don't have to shut the generator down to refuel. And with 12 gallons, you have almost three days of runtime. So it's the 12 plus the uh, 6.9 on the generator. Guys, let's open the box. Let's see what this looks like. Finally, we have one that will work with the large generators and it will work with a lot of them with the extra adapters. All right, so what you get in the box, you get your pump, you get your power adapters. This one, the Gen Max, also has the cigarette lighter so you will be able to power your uh, external fuel pump with this so you'll plug right into the generator since most of the gen max has a dc output you could just come right here and plug your uh, external tank right into the generator this is the one we're going to be using so you just plug into right here and that's it that's where you get your power from if you don't have a dc cigarette lighter style you just use your battery clamps and you'll just get 12 volts from external battery. So you just have an external battery on hand and that's how you'll power your, your fuel pump. So that's the power. These are the adapters I'm talking about. So let's open this up. Fuel pump, it will actually turn on, fill your tank and shut off. So this is it right here. That's your little switch. Turn it on and off. You have two lights that will show you if uh, there's a fault or if it's working. And that's where you plug your DC in. Oh, it's a forced shutdown when the red is flashing. All right, so this will go on the top of the tank. So if your generator has this type of tank, it will work. This is what your uh, gas cap will look like. I took the chain out. And the next thing you have to do is pull your fuel filter out. So just reach down and pull that out. You won't need this. And the chain I took off, just drop it on the inside like this. If you want to get it off, you can thread it out. But I'm just going to leave it hanging right here. Your fuel pump looks just like the gas cap almost the same so you just reach that down in there find the there you go and spin it on that's it all right so that's all it takes to install this is just put it on get the fuel cut get the fuel cap off your filter off 
get that chain out from right here put your fuel pump on so this will work on the smaller generators with uh, threaded gas caps and on the top you have this type that will work on the fuel pump so it works on a lot of different generators your small 2500s your 2000s this will help and it comes with two of them a larger and a smaller fitting so if you have a smaller generator this should help you this is your uh, gas hose with your primer bulb it has an arrow showing you which side goes to the generator so you can prime it you will have to buy a fuel tank you can get a six four I chose to go for 12 mine already has the uh, the adapter on it so this is what it's going to look like so let's hook this up to the fuel pump come over here pull this off and this goes like this and you just press it on and it locks in place that's it you have your little lock right here so it will not be able to come out and just you can hear that click now you know it's secure next thing you hook up your 12 volt so this this is the adapter for the fuel pump come over here it's keyed it only goes one way find it there you go and then secure it on like this come over here grab your power and connect it all right it's connected and that's it so you have fuel you have power you have your power coming out of your generator or if you don't have a 12 volt cigarette lighter style you can use an external battery you'll fill up your gas tank to maximum you come over here you'll prime once you feel it gets firm and hard you'll stop then you'll start your generator push your start button your power switch and that's it guys the best for best results make sure your gas tank on your generator is filled to capacity don't do an empty tank and have the pump pump all your external gas tank all the gas from your external tank into this it's no just have this filled up before prior to uh, starting your generator then it will come on once you need more gas all right guys simple so if you guys are looking for an easy way to uh, stop refueling and having to turn your generator off just to refuel this will work for you this is your instruction manual right here it shows everything it comes with It's the Genmax GM EFP Plus fuel pump. Like I said, if you have a food truck or any kind of concession stand, even home backup where you're running off of gas and you don't want to shut your generator off every time and let it cool down just to refuel, guys, this will work perfect for you because you have an external tank that sits well away from the generator. So there's no worries when it comes to refueling your external tank. You can just get you a five gallon tank and come refuel that and will automatically keep your generator topped off. You still have to shut your generator off about every 24 to 48 hours. Check your oil, do some maintenance, make sure everything's good. Don't just run your generator uh, several days without checking it. I go maximum 24 hours before I check the oil in my generator. Every 24 I'll check the oil in my generator shut it down check the oil but this right here I know if you have a food truck and you're running during the day the last thing you want to do is shut your food truck down or your generator to refuel it and it could be a great fire hazard if you spill gas on top and it goes down on a hot exhaust with this you don't have to worry about that because you won't have to open up the uh, fuel tank the fuel tank just to put, add gas I want to give you guys the concept of how it works so guys, if you like this and you want to check one out, I'll put the link down in the description and you can buy this. Guys, thanks for watching this quick video. Genmax GM EFP plus fuel pump. External fuel tank. There it is.
give you another look at it guys thanks for watching this video if you like this kind of videos don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to the channel all right guys thanks for watching have a great day bye like i told you guys it will work on several different since this is the same tank it will work on the pulsar This is the Duramax 16,000. It will work on this one. It will work on the AI Volt. The Duramax 11,000 It will work. The only one it will not work on with the adapters is the Westinghouse 11,000. It will not work on this type. This is too big. So if you have a Westinghouse, it won't work on this one. It will work on the Yamaha, just fine. This is a Yamaha 6,000. Over here I have a Honda 3,000. It will work on the Honda 3000. All you have to do is come here, pull the filter out, and put this in place. And also it will work on the Honda 7000. With these smaller Gen Max, like the 6000 and the 5500, you have this style fuel cap. You just come over here, pull the filter out, Get your adapter on, and then, boom, it works.